my name is Alan. Uh, since, uh, since I was little, uh, my family and I went to visit the, the cemetery every year the same day. Uh, there were a lot of people there and I was exposed to a lot of different things like this. Um, and that day, uh, was, uh, we celebrated the, the death the day, but at the beginning, for me, it was useless to go to the cemetery and celebrate someone that is dead. It doesn't have any meaning. But then, uh, after a while, I uh, began to learn the, the real meaning of this uh, day, day of the dead. Um, this day is celebrated a thousand uh, years ago in, in my culture. Um, we do many things uh, this day. Uh, we eat this kind of bread, mm -hmm. we have this kind of schools, this is sugar schools, we can eat them, and we have a lot of different things. This is named Pan de Muerto in Spanish. If I try to translate it, it's like a bread of death. <laughs> it's really delicious. <laughs> Um, many different cultures celebrate the dead in many different ways. But today I will tell you how Mexicans celebrate it and what we do in the graveyard, uh, how we celebrate it at home, uh, what is the meaning of this, and how we celebrate it in school. First of all, the graveyard. Um, first, we have to the day before uh, this day, we have to clean the graves or the, the dead persons and then we decorate it with different kind of flowers and the day of the, of the death, the uh, 2nd of November, um, we put uh, candles and then a photo of the, of the dead person. Then we pray for the, the, the rest of the soul so they can rest in peace. Uh, if you go to the graveyard uh, and in the same uh, graveyard you have like a, a friend or another family member that has died, uh, in the same day you can go visit, but it's like mostly for your, uh, for your close family, like your grandparents, your uncles, something like that. And some people used to eat there. Uh, when you are there, you have like, you, you eat and then you remember the things they remember memories of the of the dead person, and I think that's that's nice. <laughs> At home, uh, we make an altar. Do you know about this? Have you ever heard about it? Yeah. Okay. This is uh, in this day, uh, the soul of the dead persons uh, come to visit the home and also the graveyard. But at home, we make this. Uh, to like an offering for the dead person, like show of respect, like to welcome the, the soul to the to the house. I'm going to explain you like the basic things that an altar has to have and how to make one. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, first of all, some basic things that an altar has to have. Uh, the light. You can um, use different kind of candles in in many years ago they used like different things but mostly it's to represent the fire it's, it, it helps to it helps the soul to like as a guide to, to get home and then the day after the, the day of death it's like it helps to the souls to return uh, the water the water is an essential thing in everybody's life so also the deceased person need need to, to drink water. So that's why I would put like a glass of water or, no, yeah, glass of water. And uh, the food, a very essential thing. Uh, we put a kind of food that the, the, the deceased, deceased person uh, used to like. If you, if, if one time you see an altar, a Mexican altar, you will see tortillas, tamales, mole, all the different kinds of Mexican food um, and we also use these kind of flowers I think here is it's named marigolds but in Mexico it's named cempasuchi it's the floor of the dead too and 
and this uh, helps to decorate the altar and also the smell. It, it's the people believe that the smell of this flower uh, attract the the dead person home. Another thing you can add to the altar is this the bread of death that I told you. And also you can have like religion symbols like the cross and you can use it in many different ways. You can put a real cross or like here you see orange you can make the, the, the cross like this. Also if the person is an adult person you can add some alcohol beverage like tequila or traditional Mexican drinks but if the person is like a child you can add some toys. It's very common to see this kind of paper, decorative paper in each altar, and it has lots and lots, tons of many designs. I just put some here so you can have an idea of the, of the paper. And the most uh, essential thing you have to have in an altar is a photo of the deceased person. So you can that. And I will show you a sample altar uh, so you can have like an idea. This is how it looks like. As you can see, it's the candles, some food, the photo, some flowers. But I think this altar is more, it's like too simple, like it doesn't have color. So mostly an altar looks like this. You see all the colors, the paper, the flowers, the sugar school, the photo. It's, it's pretty good. I'll go. <laughs> uh, since we're in school, we are taught to celebrate this. Uh, since we are little, and the, they taught us the, the meaning of this. And uh, also in school, we made an altar for historic persons like uh, presidents or important person in, in the past, but what we usually do in school is uh, we write poems named Calaveras. Uh, these poems are mostly like funny poems about the dead and about a uh, person that are alive. So that's really good. And also, uh, the schools encourage the students to make these poems uh, with a different con contests and good prizes. Also, we do um, draws of uh, skeletons that are a symbol of this. Um, as you can see, in, in Mexico, we celebrate the dead in many different ways. In the graveyard, if you have a grave for your, your deceased person, because many times the, the person dies and you cannot have like a place because the, the body is lost or something. And also, if you if you are not able to go to the graveyard, you can. That's why you you do the altar at home, because there's a lot of difficulties to go to the graveyard. But this has become a national holiday in Mexico, and mostly, it's like it's like I believe in a, a way to respect the deceased person, a way that. You can show respect for for your deceased uh, relatives. So I have a quote. Death is a destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. So <laughs> I want to see just because of her, her death. So thank you. Yeah.